you ever just been, uh, you know, just, you know, trying to keep track of, like, the money you spend, and you have things budgeted out, you know, some people are check to check, some people just try their best to make ends meet, sometimes they're gonna borrow money, you know, I'm... For the most part, okay. I live by myself. Kids. But. I. You, you know, you, you start looking at what you're paying. Some people just don't pay attention. They just pay it. But like, keeping track of everything. So. There's a lot of companies that do this. I'm not just going to talk about uh, the big at near T. You know, at T. Um, they're a pretty uh, terrible company. Because it's like... You know, I, I, I've been with a few cellular providers. Cricket's one. Yeah, you know, they're they're all right. You know, they're budget friendly and that's cool. Uh, I used to have Boost and I decided to go back to them because, you know, they were like $10 cheaper and I was like, okay, this will be great. You know, I know even though it says unlimited, it's not truly unlimited, you know, for data because, you know, you, you get to like... uh. A threshold they have which like for me it was 32 gigs with boost and then you know they slow down your data well they didn't just slow down my data they they cut my data i eventually made it to where i was at 44 gigs and they just know like, i had zero internet connection and i know some people might say this is bs but periodically i would just get like bundles of messages and it was just really weird and i was off and on if i can get video or not and it was it was just weird and there there was no youtube i could not pull up youtube i could not pull up reddit i could not do anything i could read twitter some of the posts because they would load and some wouldn't uh my text messages i was having trouble with which was really odd and i kept periodically getting these uh messages for you have a voicemail but you will not receive it until your data is restored which I thought talk and text were unlimited all the way around. Like, doesn't that include voicemail? It's not a part of my data plan. But apparently I couldn't get none of my voicemails until loaded up because of my data. Apparently they used my data. So I decided, hey, you know, let me find a, a different company. Even if it's a premium one, you know, I don't mind paying a little bit more. And I've talked to a few people about this, and I haven't exactly got it all resolved, but with AT&T. Telling me they're great, they're good, excellent service. You know, I used to have them for home internet. No, I'm done with it. So, you know, they, they got over on me more than one time. Uh, you know, obviously they're going to raise your bill at a certain point, which is understood kind of already out there they you know they made that known uh because usually it's just like an entry period and then you know i needed more bandwidth because you know 50 me 50 megabits yeah 50 megabits a second just was not going to cut it and in my area they said they don't do no more so i switched to uh xfinity which provided up to as far as i know 600 megabits which is what i'm currently on I think they're providing one gig now, so I might switch over to that. That'll help a lot. <laughs> but they treated me a lot nicer. So I thought I'd give AT&T another try with cellular plans. And what ended up happening was the same friends that recommended me to them did not tell me the rest. And if I would have, you know, background check on AT&T, maybe I would have Avoided some pitfalls, but I guess you don't learn until you experience it yourself. Um, so, 
I signed up to AT&T, went through the whole plan, which is really weird because when I went in for the service, they said that they couldn't do anything for me unless I had a valid driver's license, which knew my license. They said they don't take the paper ID, which is the same number, which it should run, but they said no, that has to be a valid hard copy. <laughs> as, as, you know, uh, or driver's license, you know, driver's license. And uh, I said, well, I have my ID. They were like, no, no, that won't work. You need a driver's license. Yeah, I just couldn't understand why. I'm like, same number. It's just this one's invalid because they snipped the corner because I got the paper one out, but you can read the numbers. They're the same. And they said, no, that won't work. Do you have a passport? No, which... To me, it just baffles me. So they said, go online, and you know you don't have to have any of that. Which just begs the question, why do they need it in the first place? Anyway, I'm going off topic. So, I decided, I decided, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, let me turn this down just a tad bit. I like my mic's a little bit too high. Okay, so, it's still too high. So I decided, um... You know, just go, go, go online and do it. And it was cool because, you know, my current service is about to end. And I switched on over. And they were like, okay, so the plan that you want, full unlimited. Their higher tiers are capped at 50 gigs and then they slow you down. And then they had a lower tier that's like 22 gigs and then they slow you down. And then the bottom tier is like full unlimited. There is no cap. But, you know, there's always a catch, which understandably if you read it like right there when it says unlimited we will restrict your service up and down you know as needed but, i mean it's what you're paying for the bottom tier oh well, that was understood and it does it does go up and down it goes from 5g to lte and i you know i lose bars up and down but for the most part i i get everything i need and when i was checking out i told them, you know i'm bringing my own device they were cool with that you know brought an iphone 12 in and they're like okay you know, that's great and all and you know they got everything compatible got the sim set up and that was great and they were like okay so we're gonna waive your activation fee okay that's cool you know it's 35 dollars they're gonna you know they're gonna waive that so i don't have to pay it and you know they added up all my fees and taxes and everything and they said okay we are not going to charge you yet but when you were charged you will be charged, I think it was like $68 in some odd sense, you know, apply to said credit card. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, that's that, that's fine for me. You know, that's like $17 more than what I was paying. But as long as I know that I got actual data, like the data is there and it works, then I'm fine with that, you know. And if it doesn't cut out and it's good coverage, and it's just, I just want something that re it's reliable, it's not extremely overpriced so i was like okay that's fine this is what's going to be charged in my card okay i don't know how to get away with this but when my statement came in and what they charged to my card i freaked out like i didn't know what's going on Maybe i was charged twice no okay so they charged me, I think it was like $128. I'm going to see if I can pull this up. Okay, yeah, they charged me $126.88. get that in there. So, I'm just like, okay. You know, and how? How? So when I went in, and I don't want to log in all this crap again, but I'm just going to tell you. Okay. I logged in. It said that I was charged an activation fee. Like, how, how are you? How are you going to on the receipt? How are you going to waive the activation fee? And then still charge me for it. Like, that, that that doesn't make sense. And and I know what they're doing. I, I get their game. 
and it's extremely wrong. And it's just wrong on so many levels. And I know that they're not, they know that you're not going to fight them in court because it's such a minuscule amount of money. And they're just like, oh, yeah, they're not going to fight it. So they're going to see if you're going to put someone in there to dispute it. And three things popped up, which means they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Okay, so it says, um, one, I didn't know about this charge. Two, I don't feel like I should pay this charge. And they had three, I was told that this would be waived. So you charged me seeing if I would dispute it. You're trying to get over on people. And as soon as I clicked it, automatically no questions asked they said they were going to credit your account for that little bit of activation fee which came with an additional fee of 17 dollars. So it was like uh 42 dollars or something like that anyway uh, it was some weird amount but it ended up being like 47 48 dollars i don't know uh they said we're going to credit your account why not only am I not getting a refund for the money, they're only giving me store credit. Store credit. So here's the issue. People are like, okay, take the store credit, cancel your plan, and get out of there. No, 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 no. So you have 14 days to cancel your plan. <clears throat> now, if they know that you don't know this, they wait those 14 days, and then they give you your statement, which now you can dispute it. You're like, hey, you know what? I'd just rather just cancel my plan and refund me. Well, that's how they keep you in. You might go, hey, you know what? I'll just cancel it next week. I'll cancel it next week. No. I went in there and I was like, you know what? I'll just take the loss. I'm not even worried about the $40. I'd just rather go to a company that's not going to be disingenuous. Like this. You know, I'll switch back to Cricket. Everybody told me good things about T-Mobile. They said they don't do this. So... They also charged me for your 911 alert call and all this other crap, like 20 something dollars on top of the regular 65. So my bill's going to be like 80 something dollars a month. And everyone was telling me, you know, it's because of uh, your phone. I'm like, I own my phone outright. People got higher plans than me that are paying less. Like that doesn't make any sense. But I was going to cancel. And I was given the message of, and it's in the terms, the terms of service, which nobody ever reads. And it was a lot to read, so I only read so far. But cancellation fee. Because I signed up for your contract. Cancellation fee is $350. Or right around there, it's over 300 You have to pay $300 to cancel. This alone is a warning to everybody. Leave AT&T. Do not go to them. Do not trust them. If you're going to be this sly, this slick, and try to get around to scrape money out of you, that should say enough about the reputation of the company. If you can't be upfront and forward about your additional charges or any taxes and fees, yeah, you can say it's in the fine print. That's fine and that I should have read it. But that's like me getting you a bag of chips at the store going, hey, man, $2. You want it? One at two dollars. Cool. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. You sure? Gonna get a refund if I don't. If I'm not satisfied. Absolutely. You can get a refund. Sure. Okay. You want to this card? Okay. All right. Two dollars for the bag of chips, and now your total is three hundred eighty-five dollars. Huh? Excuse me. Oh, you didn't read the bag? Back here. It says back here. Uh, it's gonna be an additional three hundred and some odd dollars for the bag plus. Tax shipping fees, storage fees, utility fees, service management fees, gratuity. Uh, oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, there's no refunds. We can give you in store credit. Uh, you know what? Just cancel that transaction. Okay, we'll go ahead and try to cancel the transaction. That's going to cost you another $1,085 for the cancellation. Does that make any sense? You know how fast pay people would stop grocery shopping at that store if they did that? They would stop. Which is exactly why I went ahead and did my own little check on AT&T and how their company is doing. Turns out over the past, every year, year over year, their stock value has dropped. 
I mean, you can cut the video at this point because this is fair warning for y'all. I'm not the only one this has been done to. This has been done to a bunch of people. But at this point in the video, look, okay. The short little bit left, but AT&T stock value has gone down over the past five years, year over year, month over month. And I can only imagine why. Here's another big deal for those of you who may not know much about stocks. Losing 50% of your stock value at a consistent rate, not in a big slump over the past five years, over 50% of your stock value. You are a dying company. You are the next GameStop without the boost from Wall Street bets. You are the next AMC without the boost from Wall Street bets. You are going to be Toys R Us. Close your doors. You are not going to be saved like Sears. They are dead. Bye. AT&T will be gone. And a lot of people say AT&T is too big to leave. Well, you know, they might own the landlines, but they don't own fiber optics. And I'll tell you who does. Xfinity has got a lot of that. And I think that's who they're going to lose out to. I think they're going to lose out to T-Mobile. AT&T is going to lose to T-Mobile and probably Verizon. Uh, and Xfinity, you know. Uh, Xfinity so far is pretty great. But I went ahead and looked at, you know, their, their backdoor competitor, uh, T-Mobile. Year over year has increased in stock value for the past five years, month over month. Here's the kicker. Their stock value has over doubled over a hundred percent in the past five years. I wonder why. Here's another thing. They're so desperate to keep customers at AT&T when I left because I stayed with them on my internet plan because they were the only, literally the only provider in my area. If I didn't have to have them, I wouldn't. But I chose to take them. I got a year contract, waited, did another year, waited. Finally, Xfinity started servicing our area, and that's when I switched. Um, and they tried to convince me to stay. I told them my issue, my biggest issue was uh, was the bandwidth, and they said, "Oh, don't worry, we'll give you three months of free internet." It's like, no, you don't understand. They're like, "We'll include cable." Like, no, they're like, "We'll include HBO." It's like, I don't need that. Do you have a mobile plan? You know, they're trying to get me in. It's like, no. Why couldn't you have done this before? But, I mean, anyway, guys. I'm, I'm just going on with this at this point. So, uh, yeah, at and just, 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 just warn all your friends. Stay away. There's more respectable and better companies out there. Just, guys, don't waste your time with at and just, just, Just don't. Just don't do it. saluting my money down the money pit that it's going off to at and anyway another video done and uh, enjoy whatever you switch to besides at and